Uh, hello, uh, my name's Forex or Andrew in real life, and I am the leader of the Mugen Warrior Order and also one of the owners at Heroes Odyssey. Uh, we are one of the many LARPs in Brisbane. We are more focused towards fantasy uh, and medieval combat as well as theatrical role play. With me are my members from the Mugen Warrior Order, a combat centric house in uh, the city, oh, actually the country of Anticor, which is down at Bean Lee. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to have a bit of a chat and explain basically uh, what it's like to uh, LARP in Heroes Odyssey. So next to me here uh, is Amanda, she'll have a chat about what it's like to uh, be a newbie in Heroes Odyssey. All right, hello, my name is Amanda. So in, uh, in uh, Vanticore this world, I'm known as Mitzi. Uh, I've just recently joined this clan. Um, I've actually just started up as LARP this year, so it's actually fairly new to me. Um, it's great. I had no idea that it existed, and it's a great little friendly place. Everyone's very nice, and teamwork's great. Uh, it's a very good thing to do. It's very fun. It gets you motivated and doing fitness as well for me. Um, but other than that, it's actually pretty fun. makes new friends. Um, it's great fun. Yeah. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you for that, Amanda. And uh, next, it's uh, my old mate, Peter. Uh, he'll have a bit of a chat in regards to what it's like to be a uh, veteran in Heroes Odyssey. Yes, uh, so in the lands of Vanticore, I'm known as VB Warrior. And, um, you know, being a veteran in uh, Vanticore and HO, you know, found that, you know, the longer you play, you know, the more skills you pick up, you know, the exercise, Everything's you know beneficial, and, that. and it really put you know puts you out there and lets you learn new things, interact with people, you know build builds character. Yeah, it's, there's really no you know downsides to it. Yeah. All right, thanks, Peter. And uh, lastly, it will be uh, Stephen, which is actually my second in command in the Mugen. Uh, basically, he's going to have a chat about what it's like to be a team leader and basically leading a squadron um, in the Mugen Warrior or, or even in uh, LARP in general. Um, basically, I'll have a chat about what it's like to basically um, step up as a, as a leader in the group. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, thanks, Andrew Wong, for having us on the uh, program as well. Uh, I've been playing LARP for a couple of years now. I've only recently started to step up into the leadership positions, but uh, it's really great for someone in my period of life to start to build foundations for you know team leading, which is uh, something I can take out of LARP uh, and into real life, which is fantastic. Um, from a LARP aspect, it's um, definitely challenging, uh, but rewarding and you you really build on relationships in and again out of game which is a really um, interesting component to it. it it definitely adds more layers um, as well as uh, you know behind the scenes and trying to help with the way the game is run and um, you know just how players interact with each other and the community at large so it's yeah great time good stuff back to Andrew thanks for that Stephen so everyone if you are keen on LARP want to get fit want to make great friends and want to actually increase or in, improve your skills in both leading in terms of combat or even working towards like uh, costuming or in terms of role play as well if you're, you're very, very keen in adopting a persona definitely come down to LARP we actually have a branch out in, B, uh, in 